हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द केस ऑफ नेशनल एल्यूमिनियम कंपनी लिमिटेड वर्सेस कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स एंड अनदर दिस केस हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन 451 आईटीआर एट पेज नंबर 383 उड़ीसा द डेट ऑफ द जजमेंट इज 9th मई 2022 एंड दिस केस इज रिगार्डिंग additional depreciation and on section 43b the logic of introducing section 43b was that the legislature wants that the assessee should not take the undue benefit of debiting various expenses into its profit and loss account and claiming their deduction and not paying them over a long period of time so there are a number of items which are there in section 43b like the statutory dues employees provident fund contribution and a number of the items are there the simple law is that if section 43b items will be paid before the due date of filing of the return of income accept employees contribution then in that case the deduction will be allowed otherwise it will be allowed in the year in which it is paid the only logic of this law is that the legislature wants that these payment should be made in time in the present case the assessee has to pay the electricity duty but there was dispute with the state government regarding this electricity duty this matter was also in litigation before the court and the court gave the decision that the assessee has to deposit this electricity duty with the designated bank and by following the order of the court the assessee deposited the electricity duty into the bank now the question before the assessing officer was that whether this deposit of electricity duty into the bank and not to the state government will be treated as payment which is contemplated in section 43b the same issue was before the assessing officer in the previous two years in which the assessing officer has allowed the deduction and not making the addition under section 43b on this basis but in the present year that is the assessment year 2006 7 the assessing officer disallowed this payment which has been made by the assessee in compliance to the order of the court by depositing the amount into the bank account and not to the state government even the cit appeal and the itat didn't entertain the appeal of the assessee but when this matter came to the Urissa High Court. Urissa High Court said that when the assessee has made the payment into the designated bank account according to the order of the court, then this payment should be deemed as constructive payment, and the assessee cannot be denied the benefit of expenditure claimed into the profit and loss account, and Section 43B will not be applicable. what the assessee can do more in these cases the assessee has parted away with the money and it was more importantly was due to the order of the court so the assessee has complied section 43b and there is no case that this payment of electricity duty should not be allowed to the assessee and second issue in this case was that assessee has acquired some plant in 2005 but it was fitted after that so the question was that whether the assessee will be allowed additional depreciation on this part of the plant and machinery so this matter was also decided by the court in favor of the assessee and it was held by the court that the assessee will be entitled to the additional depreciation for the plant which has been acquired before but fitted to the plant after that and the payment of the excise duty into the bank account 
according to the order of the court will be a constructive payment and section 43b will not be applicable in that case at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is national aluminium company limited versus commissioner of income tax and another and this case has been reported in 451 itr page number 383 the matter has been decided by odisha high court and the date of the judgment is 9th may 2022